back in the garage, back back in the garage, in the garage, in the garage, back in the garage today, back in the garage, back in the garage today. What's going on guys, back in the garage today. The weather finally broke here in West Virginia. It's been beautiful the last few days. I'm going over a few things on my super adventure because I'm thinking about riding into work tomorrow and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to share a few tips on wheel maintenance. It's not something many people talk about and uh, it's something that is kind of important. You want to make sure your wheels are in good shape as well as your tires. And uh, let me share a few tips with you to uh, keep you safer out there on the road, especially since the weather's getting pretty nice. And I know many of you are going to be on your bikes really, really soon this spring. Now, I know I said we're going to talk about wheel maintenance, but the first part of wheel maintenance is making sure your tires are in good shape. So after a visual inspection of your tires, make sure there's no punctures or, you know, the wear indicators aren't down to the nubbins. Next thing you want to do is check the tire pressure. Now, my, my bike has one of the tire pressure monitoring systems on it, like a lot of modern bikes do these days. I still like to do it the old fashioned way, pull out the old tire gauge or the pressure gauge, check them yourself. If they need a little bit of air, put a little bit of air in them. And that's the first step when it comes to wheel maintenance. Now the next step may or may not apply to you. If you have a bike like mine, one of these KTM adventure bikes, then it's probably going to apply to you if you have spoked rims because KTM runs a tubeless tire system on them, which is different than the Ducati and the BMW and some other brands. I'm just going to show you a picture in the manual, what I'm talking about and kind of what to be on the lookout for. It's not something I'm going to show you tonight because the only way to check the system is to take the tires off the rim. So if you change the tires yourself, that's the perfect time to check. If you don't and you take them to a dealer or, or a private mechanic, have him do, he or she, do a visual inspection of the tubeless tire system. And just so you know, KTM recommends replacing it every five years regardless of how good it looks. So those of you who are dirt bike riders or used to be dirt bike riders who've ever changed tires probably recognize this. This is rim tape. We do have this on the inside of these super uh, adventure wheels. The other thing we have is what they call the tubeless tire system. There's probably a good picture of it over here. It is basically a big giant rubber gasket that sits on top of the rim tape that then seals down into the rim. That is why we can have spokes running to the rim but still run tubeless tires on the bike. Again, these things, they recommend replacing them every five years. They're not cheap, but they're not real expensive. I'll flash the uh, price up on the screen but it's cheap insurance and it's way better than taking the chance of a blowout. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is check our wheel bearings. It's fairly easy to do. If you've got a center stand, uh, you're gonna put the bike up on the center stand. That's gonna get the rear wheel off the ground. And what we wanna do is, I don't wanna say shake, but we're gonna push this wheel side to side. And if we feel any free play in there, we know the bearings are starting to go and we need to replace the wheel bearings. In the case of this bike, as tight as can be. Now we'll move up to the front and check the front wheel bearings. Now up front, it's gonna be just a little bit different. It's good if we can unweight this just a little bit. There is absolutely no play in those wheel bearings whatsoever. So we know the wheel bearings are good to go. My bike's got about 30,000 miles on it, so I'm not surprised the wheel bearings are still fine. However, if you use your, you know, especially if you have like a, a Super Adventure R that you're taking off road much more often, it's taken more of a beating, you may have to replace your wheel bearings a little more regularly. On the dirt bikes like Noah's 65, we're good for like half a season before we need, need uh, new wheel bearings. Uh, it really depends on the amount of pounding uh, your suspension your bike is taking. If you're riding it mostly on road, these things could easily go 50, 60, 70, 80,000 miles before they need replaced. Now before I get into the last thing, one other thing I want to mention, especially when it comes to spoked rims, you don't have to worry about this if you have cast rims, is wheel run out, truing the wheels. It's far too advanced for this video. Again, your tire is going to be off the bike. You need a, a special, I don't want to call it a machine, but a special tool to do that. Uh, if you're not changing your own tires though, it's probably not something you're ever going to do. But let's hop into the one last thing that uh, at least we need to check on this bike. Now, if you're coming off of a street bike that's had cast rims and this is your first bike or you've never had a bike before that has spoked rims, uh, this is something we need to take care of. We've got 160 horsepower coming back to this rear wheel and it's putting a lot of torque on it. So we wanna make sure all of the spokes are properly torqued. So in order to do that, we need two main tools. We need a screwdriver, flat blade works great, and we also need a spoke wrench. Now the spoke wrench I have right here won't actually work on this bike. I'll show you the one I'm going to use. These can be picked up for a few bucks. I believe the one on this specific bike is a 6.95 uh, spoke wrench. This one only goes up to 6.42, so it's a little small, but it does do multiple sizes. Just make sure you get the right one. All right, so the reason for the screwdriver is pretty simple. What we're gonna do is kind of use this like a tuning fork. And if we hear that ping noise, 
we know the spoke's good. If we hear more of a dead noise, which I hope I don't hear, we know it needs tightened. So basically what you want to do is go around the entire rim to check it. Now if you hear one, that one sounded a little more dead, you want to get your, your uh, spoke wrench out and you want to tighten down the nipple. And the nipple, just so you know what that is, is this part right down here and that will tighten up the, uh, the spoke to get it to the proper tension. Now in going through the service manual, I could not find a torque spec for the spokes on this bike, but I did check it on my uh, 250 and on Noah 65. It was saying six newton meters, so I'm gonna guess that's good on this one too. And you can actually get a torque wrench that's made to work on spokes. Let me show you what I've got. So this is the KTM Power Parts torque wrench. It is not cheap. I believe it retails for about $180. It's good for one newton meter up to 25 newton meters. You've got your typical head that pops on it right here that allows you to take quarter inch drive sockets. It also This kit also comes with a, a T15 bit. And then it also comes with two spoke uh, heads for it. This one here fits the, uh, the smaller dirt bikes. This one fits the bigger dirt bikes. Like I said, it's a 6.95. And what we can do is we can set this to six newton meters and we can go around this entire rim to make sure they're all torqued to the proper spec. All right, so the first thing we need to do is pick a place to start. Uh, typically a good place to start is the valve stem. So we'll start with this nipple right here. That one is properly torqued. And then we're going to skip two and go to the fourth one and do the same thing. And then same deal, we'll skip two, go to the next one. And we're gonna do that all the way around the rim until we come back to where we started. All right, now that we've worked our way all the way around the rim, we're gonna go back to the one we started at and we're gonna go to the next one and we're gonna do the same exact thing. And the reason why we're alternating is because if we were just to go in a row, it takes the chance that we're tightening up all of one section too much and we can throw the, win the, uh, the, the rim out of true and we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna do this a total of three times and that should hit every single spoke. Going around that first time, I had about three that were a little loose but not too bad. Um, so we're going to check the rest of them, and then we're going to do the same thing to the front rim. All right, so I've got all these spokes on the front wheel torqued down. There are about three of them that were loose, so I'm glad I went ahead and checked them. Just to give you guys a little bit of a rundown on when you need to check these things. When it comes to, obviously, checking for tire punctures, you should do that every time before you get on your bike. When it comes to checking the tire pressure, I would recommend doing it before each ride, definitely after the bike's been sitting a while. And if you're on a multiple day trip, check it every few days unless you have a tire pressure monitoring system and then that's gonna let you know anyway. When it comes to truing the rims or checking the, uh, the tubeless system on, on the KTM, I would do that every tire change and then obviously replace that tubeless system every five years like KTM recommends doing. Uh, the wheel bearings, if you're doing mostly street riding, I'd check it once or twice in between wheel changes or in between tire changes, that should be enough. But if you're doing a lot of off-road riding, you definitely wanna check it more often. Same thing when it comes to the torque spoke. A lot of off-road riding, you're gonna check them pretty often because it's a heavy bike. Uh, if you're doing mostly street riding, once, twice between uh, tire changes and you should be fine. So anyway, I just want to go over a few wheel maintenance tips with you. Uh, I know it's not the uh, sexiest stuff to go over, but it is important stuff to keep you guys safe out riding on the road. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider hitting that subscribe button because if you like motorcycles, well, this is the place to be. If you have any questions about anything I went over, obviously let me know those down in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, I'll talk to you again soon.